Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about vitamin C and its health benefits. So what comes in your mind when you think about the term vitamin C? Yes, I am right. You are thinking about orange or lemon, right? Exactly. Now the biggest question in this COVID time is whether vitamin C boost your immunity and help you to fight COVID. This question would be analyzed in this video so stay tuned at the end of this video. Now, who don't like a glass of lemonade or orange juice? In this video, we would analyze the health benefit of one glass of orange juice which contains loads and loads of vitamin C. So, vitamin C is chemically known as ascorbic acid and it can be found in various sources. The best source for vitamin C is not oranges but bell pepper. Red bell pepper was shown to contain vitamin C five times more than oranges. Other than bell pepper, obviously in lemons, oranges, guava, brussels sprout, cauliflower or in kiwi, we can find quite a lot of vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is water soluble and pretty much heat labile. So, it can be degraded if you cook food that contains vitamin C. For example, if you are cooking bell pepper, then and there vitamin C is degraded. So, it is always advisable that vitamin C containing food should be consumed in a salad format which keeps the vitamin C in, intact and makes it more available towards our body. Now we know that our body is bombarded with several super uh, oxide ions or reactive oxygen species which we call ROS every day. This leads to damage in DNA and protein, damage in membrane or even increase the risk of inflammation. Ascorbic acid has a negative role in terms of modulating these uh, reactive oxygen species. It works like a ROS scavenger. Now, vitamin C is crucial for wound healing and collagen synthesis. It accelerates the process of wound healing and helps in the steps of collagen biosynthesis. Additionally, research has shown that vitamin C can promote good cardiovascular health. It also reduces the chance of heart attack or stroke. Moreover, vitamin C has a lot of benefit in terms of skin and hair. Since it promotes collagen synthesis, it is beneficial for your skin. But how? Now, collagen has triple helix structure. Each of these collagen helix can get hydroxylated and that gives the rigidity towards these collagen helix. Now, this hydroxylation process is augmented by several hydroxylase enzyme and ascorbic acid or vitamin C works like a coenzyme for these enzymes and that is how it helps to make our skin glowy. Vitamin C aids in iron uptake in the intestine and that is why vitamin C reduces the chances of iron deficiency. Moreover, we need to understand how vitamin C affects our brain. It turns out vitamin C is interrelated with brain function. You know, inside our brain, the neurons are connected via synapses and we can see at the synapses neurotransmitter establish the link. Many neurotransmitter biogenesis involves the role of vitamin C. For example, when dopamine is converted to norepinephrine, this, hydroxylase pro pro this hydroxylation process is aided by dopamine monoxygenase. And vitamin C plays significant role in this step. Similarly, in serotonin biogenesis, from tryptophan to serotonin, there is a hydroxylation process which is aided by hydroxylase enzyme and vitamin C plays a role as a coenzyme. Now, we have one misconception that ascorbic acid can really fight against COVID-19 virus. It's not true. Ascorbic acid does not have any kind of ability to kill the virus. Then how vitamin C is beneficial? Let me tell you the science behind it. It has been shown that all the critical COVID cases are associated with low vitamin C levels. Risk of pneumonia is significantly high when vitamin C level was reduced in the patient's body. 
Now, post-mortem investigation in COVID-19 death shows that secondary pneumonia phenomena exist. Now, total pneumonia cohorts comprise 62% of hypervitaminosis of C. So, all of these evidences suggest us that reduction in vitamin C level makes you more susceptible towards a critical COVID infection. But this does not mean consuming a lots of orange, you can totally kick out COVID infection. That is not, there is no one-to-one -one correlation like that. It's a total misconception. Now, not only vitamin C, along with vitamin C, nice food which are enriched in vitamin macro and micronutrients, along with that plenty of fluids, adequate amount of sleep, lower stress level, and getting rid of all the bad habits can overall boost your immune system. And that would help indirectly to fight your body against the virus. None of these items or none of these factors can individually contribute towards immune boosting. But overall, they can help your body's immune system to perform better. So, moral of the story is adequate level of vitamin C in your body reduce the chances of serious infection in COVID. But still, it's a clinical observation. Now, let me tell you what is the effect of vitamin C on immune cells. We know neutrophils, dendritic cells or macrophages are innate immune cells. If you don't know what is innate immunity, you can click on the link in the i button. But these innate immune cells use a mechanism called oxidative burst to kill pathogens like bacteria. Now, oxidative burst make them more susceptible towards ROS-mediated damages. So, it is also harmful for these immune cells altogether. But these immune cells intake a lot of vitamin C via specific transporters and increased uptake of vitamin C is shown to have a protective role. Now, let's say you have a injury in your hand or somewhere in your body. So viruses or bacteria would enter there. Your immune cell need to reach that spot. For example, this neutrophil need to make its way out of the blood vessel and reach the space of infection. So this kind of chemotaxis process is aided by vitamin C. It has been seen when animal subjects are devoid of vitamin C, this chemotaxis process is severely affected. Now, other than that, inflammatory processes are mediated by cytokines. Vitamin C along with vitamin D and E overall reduce pro-inflammatory cytokines but increase the anti-inflammatory cytokines and that is how they maintain the immune homeostasis. So what we learned so far is vitamin C indirectly modulate the immune function but it has no direct role in terms of killing any pathogen. The deficiency dif disease of uh, vitamin C is known as scurvy which is characterized by bleeding gum and pulpish appearance of your gum and this possibly happens due to a problem in the connective tissue probably collagen levels are low. Now if it is untreated there could be many associated problems so, vitamin C deficiency is pretty common, but it is treatable with adequate amount of vitamin C or uptaking some amount of supplement. So, the question is how much vitamin C we should consume daily? For adults, the recommended daily amount of vitamin C is 65 to 90 milligrams with an upper limit of 2000 mg per day. Now, vitamin C doesn't have adverse effect if you consume it in a large proportion, but it might cause some... Uh, might cause some discomfort in your gastrointestinal tract but it's rare and different in different individual so you can get all of your daily limit of uh, vitamin c from food and these are a few vitamin c enriched food or otherwise if these food uh, options are not available to you one possibility is vitamin c supplementation but uh, food intake is way better than taking supplement as per moral of the story we have learned a glass of lemonade or a glass of orange juice has a lot of health benefits more than what we think. It can reduce inflammation, help. it can help in prevent iron deficiency, it can boost our immunity, it can manage blood pressure, decrease the uh, risk of cardiac health and many more. So we should remember one thing, 
we should eat and consume food which are rich in vitamin C but at the same time we should cook our food in a way that should not degrade vitamin C because it is extremely heat labile uh, vitamin and we should consume more salads and raw fruit so if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can support my channel via patreon and thanks for listening please share this in your network and do let me know in the comment how you like my video